It is May 31st, Friday. On just a recap, on Tuesday I got the crown put on my tooth, permanent crown. However, because I was still having some uncomfortable pain, pain issues, uncomfortableness is more like it. Uh, he decided, the dentist decided he was going to put a temporary glue on, so if they needed to, they could pull it right back off, um, as opposed to putting the permanent on, and there is no way to get it back off except to break it off or pull my tooth out. And then he said they could drill through it if they needed to, but... So anyway, we're going to do that. He said he's going to leave that temporary on there for about a year, and then a temporary glue, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um see how it goes so on Tuesday was the beginning of my fast Tuesday February February Tuesday May 28th was the beginning of my fast I actually on about two o'clock that morning I ate a bowl of ice cream and that was the last thing I ate now the previous weekend you know Friday Saturday Sunday or Saturday Sunday Monday excuse me because it was Memorial Day I um we were in Marion at the in-laws house and she cooked a lot of food the whole weekend. Usually usually she doesn't cook that much and this weekend she just happened to cook very good meals on Saturday night, Sunday night, and Monday and so I was slam full the whole time. So anyway, I'm going to give you my numbers here. On Tuesday in the morning at is around 11 o'clock my I weighed 210 pounds so so I weighed 210 pounds I checked my blood sugar and it was at 113 and that was at 11 in the morning actually it was 12 because this thing is an hour off so it was 12 I weighed myself at about 11 um, then on Tuesday I checked my blood sugar and it was at and this is after a day of only drinking water my blood sugar was depending on which finger you checked it on which is very frustrating because this this is how many of these things I've used in three days four every time I check my blood sugar and it's very frustrating because it's basically I took an average so I got 110 107 and 104 all at basically the same time and I averaged that out to 107 so I checked it on this finger and I checked it on this finger and yeah about 107 average we'll, we'll take the average so then I get to day two or actually that was day two this is day three this is yesterday on May 30th my blood sugar at actually that's four not three you can see right there um, at 4 15 420 in the afternoon my blood sugar depending on which finger you checked it on was 92 and 96 averaged was 94 so we'll say 94 then today I checked my blood sugar and we had a couple of different readings depending on which finger. Um, 91, 97, 88, and 90. So I'm going to throw out the 97, although I am averaging that in. I don't know where I got 97 from. Um, but I averaged that out to 91.5. So my blood sugar went from 113, which technically was, you know, the same day I had a big bowl of ice cream at like 2 or 3 in the morning. However, it was also 8 hours after the fact. 10 hours after the fact. So my blood sugar being 113 was still high. Um, but I checked my blood sugar. It's right now 10 in the morning. I took these readings at, it says 8, but it's actually 9. Um, I took these readings at 9 in the morning and my average was 91.5 so oh and my weight was 200 pounds so 
I went from 210 pounds at 113 blood glucose level to uh, 200 pounds at 91.5 blood glucose level with a three full days and I'm still working on day four. So I think I'm going to go today and get some bone broth. I'm actually going to try to make it myself. I'm going to see what Walmart or Bilo has bone wise because I'm not in the mood to drive all the way down to Greenville to try to get which is like 20 miles away to try to get go to like Whole Foods or whatever. So I'm going to just see what they have at Bilo and try to make some bone broth from that. And then I'm going to drink that today and I'll probably drink that tomorrow as well until in the afternoon we're going to go eat a hamburger with a friend tomorrow. So I'm going to get some food in my stomach later today and then I'm going to eat tomorrow. So it'll be a full on fast until I actually do the bone broth and then after that it's going to be liquid beef broth probably and not store bought stuff like I'm actually going to make it and then we'll see from there. So right now, hopefully, I can keep my numbers at this because we have our, uh, what time is it? What day is it? It's June. June what? No, 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 no. Okay, our floor health screening for insurance purposes and whatnot for the following year is on June 19th. So I have until the 19th to make sure that my levels are sort of leveled off because before this week in the fast, I haven't been checking my blood sugar and I, I know it's gotten kind of high. I drank a little bit of beer, or maybe more than a little bit, but not a lot. Is low carb, low calorie beer. But um, yeah, I haven't been checking it. I haven't been eating the greatest, but we're going to see what I can do just in this month. Two and a half weeks. Three and a half weeks. No, it's two and a half weeks. Yeah. Two full weeks and then Wednesday on the 19th. See how I can do and we're going to make sure we eat healthy. We're not going to be eating out a lot. Um, and drink lots of water. Here's to hoping. So let me come back to here. And I've been talking on that little screen all this time. Um, so hopefully we'll have some good results because on that health screening, I would like to have some good numbers. And I'm going to start some light exercise regimen every day, probably starting on Monday. Once I get some food back in me, because I haven't been, man, I'm getting to the point where I'm just, if I get up and I walk up and down the stairs, I'm just like, whoo, I am dizzy. I'm not hungry, but I can tell that I have no energy, so, but my gl blood glucose level is still 91. It should be 70 for a normal person, or between 70 and 80. We'll get there. Until then.